Hello everyone, it's Katrina. I was, I have been planning on doing some more videos, but honestly, with how crazy my life is, um, I was planning like a clean room, perfect lighting, makeup done, and in reality, that is not practical. So that's why no videos have been posted. So I have decided rather than trying to always be something that I am not 24 seven, that I would just be authentic and do my videos as I can, as imperfectly as they may be. Um, you get to see the real me. So, so, um, yeah, hopefully you stay around and hopefully I have some good insights. Um, that's really why I'm doing this channel is because when I was through this whole journey, not just with VSG, but with weight loss, with trying to figure out motherhood and starting work and empowerment, I have found a lot of amazing information from just listening to other people's experiences and watching their videos. Sorry, this is kind of shaky, so I'm going to put this down. Um, so I'm just going to put myself out there. Um, I have also noticed that Instagram and social media can be amazingly empowering and um, it's it's kind of a double-edged sword in that um, <clears throat> like I've had I've personally grown so much from what's out there um, and I'm so grateful for people who put themselves out there and who can give me ideas of how to improve in different areas of my life or even just for fun like when I'm having a stressful day I get on Pinterest and I look at fun things and I can ignore the chaoticness that is my life for a little bit the other hand of that the not so um amazing side of that that can be um damaging as well as the flip side of sometimes those happy amazing beautiful posts are can be um can be hard because for me so I'm gonna switch this way I'm gonna try to figure out lighting so you can actually see my face um for me um I uh sorry guys here we go for me I um I'm a perfectionist and I'm hard on myself and if I feel like I can't do something well the first time, then I oftentimes will give up or I will hide myself and I won't put myself out there. So for me, that is a personal issue that I'm trying to work through. Um, so anyways, this is going to be a long video and I hope, I hope it's useful information. I, I want to not only share my pitfalls and my struggles and my achievements and my um, excitement with others out there who are going through this process. Um, I also want to use this as a way to grow um, in areas that I am not confident in. Um, I, I'm a huge believer in pushing yourself into dis to un pushing yourself into uncomfortable situations to grow. And so that's what I want to do. Um, I think we have an amazing opportunity in this life to, to do amazing things and we only get one shot at it. So why not make the best of it? So that's kind of what I'm doing. But anyways, um, so hopefully you stick around and hopefully I have some, um, some stuff to share and also that I, I think it's um, really cool how we can go back and almost use videos and pictures as journals and see how we've been able to progress. So um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. But anyways, so I'm at three months, pretty much almost three months exactly post VSG. I have lost um, roughly about 65 pounds. I have hit a few minor, um, a few minor stalls that I just tell myself that's part of the process that um there's only so much weight my body can lose before it needs a break and so I try to honor my body in that and just at those times if the scale is derailing me then I stop weighing myself um I have been doing what's called a diet bet 
and that's been kind of helping me stick to a goal of 4% weight loss every month. Um, do I have days where I'm not hitting my protein goals? Yes, a lot of the days I am not hitting my protein goals, and that's not good. Um, protein helps keep your hair from falling out, and I am at that three month that a lot of people say they start noticing hair loss. I already have thin hair. I think stress and the lack of protein before VSG contributed to my losing my hair. I used to have really thick hair and now I don't. Um, and so I really don't want to lose hair as much as possible. Whether that is preventable or not can be debated, but I'm going to do everything I can. So um, hair is an issue with protein. Also muscle growth. Um, it's important to maintain muscle. I um, have a lot of muscle compared to when I was lighter in high school, and um, muscle is a good thing, and um, and I want to feel strong after this. I don't want to, and, and I'll go into this later on, too. Um, my whole goal through this has been to lose fat to get my body to where it's in a ha healthy fat ratio and to then build muscle and feel strong. I feel like um, some of my weight was a protection for me to feel um, that I was safe. Um, I've had experiences in my past where I felt unsafe. I felt, I felt unsafe for a lot of my life, and I know that that weight was kind of armor for me to um, – push away any attention that I might get and to, um, to, because I felt as, as weird as this, I felt, I felt bigger. I felt stronger. I felt more sure of myself and losing this weight has, has, um, brought some stuff up for me to work through. And so through this whole process, I do want to feel strong. So protein is really important to maintain muscle mass. Um, also, in healing the body, um, protein is really important to keep your body functioning properly and to help your body healing. You're going through a lot, obviously, with losing all the weight and um, losing a lot of your stomach and not being able to eat as much um, and going through surgery. So um, protein is really important. So I've been tracking my macros, and to be completely honest, some days I only get 40 grams, which is not good. 60 is the minimum, and there's an equation you can do to find out how much you actually need for your weight. My goal, I think, is around 80 grams, and that might fluctuate depending on how much weightlifting I'm doing. I'm not doing a lot. Um, it's... Um, I'm not doing a lot of exercising. I'm trying to... Um, and I'll kind of go in that to that in a little bit, but there's been some issues that I've been coming up against with, um, VSG. So I'll go into that. Um, the biggest hurdles that I'm going through right now is how to get protein in. I'm, I'm not tolerating protein shakes very well. The ones that I can afford, I go to Costco and get those. Um, they're still expensive. Protein is expensive. Um, I'm just not able to get them down. I can't put them in a milkshake and then drink it. I want to gag the whole time. I feel nauseous after. I don't know if that's in my head or if it's because of the surgery. I do know I tend to be a little more iffy with what I eat now. Um, before I would shoot down a protein shake, and maybe that's the problem is I could shoot a protein shake in a matter of minutes after my workout and then I was fine. Um, that might be the problem is I'm having to like sip it and I don't like sipping protein. So, um, so that's been an issue is how to get my protein and I'm, I'm trying to figure out adding protein to other things to kind of mask the flavor. Um, I'm trying to stay low carb, but I've been adding banana to some of my smoothies just enough to add flavor. Although it, banana has a lot of carbs. So, I mean, it's, a, it's an issue of how to mask how to mask protein without upping my sugar intake, how to add protein into other things to mask the flavor so I get it in, um, and then protein drinks have been working, um, protein water, but then I find myself just drinking protein water, and like yesterday, I just had 
this bottle of protein water and by the time it was like seven o'clock, I still hadn't finished it. And I'm like, I'm so dehydrated. Um, so that's been a big one protein. I've noticed, um, I get lightheaded easily now. So when I stand up, I'm, I have to like put my head between my knees because I, I get dizzy and lightheaded and, um, I'm not as sure of myself with lifting things like I used to. Um, I used to be like, I used to just be like, yeah, let's do this. Let's, you know, lift this heavy 200 pound thing and move it. Not a big deal. And now I'm not sure of myself because um, I get lightheaded so easily and I don't have energy. Um, my calorie intake is around six to 900 calories. 900 calories is a good day. 600 is about average. Um, I'm playing around with keto to try to get enough calories in. It's just hard. It's hard figuring out what I can eat, how to eat, and with being tired at the end of the day, I'm just like, I'd rather just go to bed and not eat. So, so those are some issues I'm dealing with is getting protein in, staying hydrated, um, being lightheaded, calorie intake, how many calories am I actually getting in and, um, and working through some emotional stuff. So, I mean, there's a lot there to go over. Um, so this is just like a basic update and I'm thinking of, of like actually writing out individual topics and actually going more in depth with them. Like protein is a big one and trying to figure out how to get protein in. Um, so Weight loss is awesome. It feels great fitting into smaller clothes. It's surreal. Um, my husband says I seem happier now, more confident. Um, our intimacy is getting better, I think. Um, but it's not all sunshine and rainbows. So um, I'm going to try to celebrate the achievements and be excited and keep my spirits up, but then also talk about some of the pitfalls because they're there, you know, like it's just inevitable that you're going to come up against stuff. And for me, there was a reason why I was emotional eating. So now that I don't have food to cope, um, I have to work through some of those things. So anyways, um, yeah, some dreams I have, um, I've, I've been listening to a, a book by an author named Rachel Hollis, and she's got some really awesome inspirational stuff that she puts out. Um, and and for a long time now, even before I read her books, before I read other inspirational books, I've had this kind of a, a dream or desire to, to do podcasts um, and to... Um, I don't know, um, learn from inspirational women to inspire women. I feel like we have this amazing opportunity as women to really lift each other up and inspire each other and be each other's biggest advocates and cheerleaders. And I am loving that. Um, I grew up with those, like with Mean Girls movie and with the idea that girls are territorial and they're catty and they're clicky. And, and as I'm getting older, I'm noticing there's just this other side of women that hasn't been talked about much until recently, or maybe I'm just aware of it now, where women are so, we can be so amazing to each other and really empower each other. And the things women are doing is amazing. It makes me so excited for myself and my daughters, that they get to grow up in a world where it's limitless what women can do. So, so those are some dreams that I have that I want to explore and put out there. And so, uh, obviously VSG, eating, eating healthy, um, having a healthy body has always been a desire of mine and, um, something I'm passionate about. So, um, Obviously, that's something I'll be talking about if I, when I need to start being more positive, when I put out my podcast. So um, it's in the works. Life is crazy. There's so much going on. I don't know how some women do it. 
And maybe that's just social media where it makes everyone else seem like they've got everything figured out and everything is beautiful and clean and tidy and, and amazing. And so, um, so I'm sure most women are like feeling the same thing, like as their Instagrams and their social media looks amazing and perfect, they're probably feeling like, how does this other person do it all? You know? So I think we're all just looking at each other thinking everyone's got it figured out and we're the only ones that don't, but obviously that's not true. So, um, anyway, stay tuned. Thank you. All of you who have followed me in my journey, my story so far, I will continue to put out videos and updates and, um, and feel free to comment and share where you're at in your journey, ask questions. That's kind of the whole reason why I'm doing this. So thanks guys.